guys, hello and well. welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte, I make Disney videos mainly and I also do weekly vlogs and various other bits and pieces. So if you do enjoy this video, I'd really love it if you could hit that subscribe button. So, I am very excited, not about this video, but about the videos that follow this video because this is my trip report for the vlog series that is starting next week, which I'm very excited to show you. Um, if you didn't know, I went to Florida in April uh, with my mom, and I normally make these videos when I get back from Florida to kind of let you guys know how it was and any good and bad things and that sort of thing. Had the strangest sensation than that I had my ears on backwards I'm so sorry but yeah I wanted to talk to you about my latest trip to Disney World so if you guys watch my trip announcement video you will know that I was working with a couple of brands on this trip so I'm going to talk a bit about them and my experiences and I'm going to be very honest there's good and bad for a lot of it um so I'm going to tell you about it so we will start off with the flight out I actually flew out courtesy of Norwegian and I have to say I'm not just saying this because I got a free flight it was bloody incredible so we were very lucky myself and my mom we flew out in premium um it's not called premium economy it's called premium and that is their kind of upper class service to economy so there's economy and there's premium so we flew in premium i have to say the seats were unbelievable it was the comfiest flight I've ever been on I've wrote an entire blog post about this which I will leave the link for below but I was very very impressed with uh, with Norwegian and with their premium service so you get to the airport you get access to the number one lounge so me and mom were able to kind of get there check in drop the bags go through uh, fast pass security like what's it called, premium security, and then we uh, went to the number one lounge where we were just able to relax, we had a coffee, we had um, breakfast, we had a Prosecco, mom got chatting to a really nice guy who was uh, flying out uh, on the flight before us, and it was just really, really nice, it was nice and chilled, you can work in there, you can relax in there, you're not kind of surrounded by the hustle and bustle of the airport. I've used number one lounge before, and I've also used a couple of other airline uh, lounges as well, and number one is my favourite, so I was really impressed and really pleased that we got to use that facility. And then onto the flight itself, obviously, I've never flown premium before, so I was very excited. You get to board first, I'd never done that before. And we had loads of space, so um, our, our seats reclined forwards, like, well, backwards, I should say, so you could, like, lean back. And forwards as well, there was a footrest. And even without the footrest, I could put my feet, like, up in front of me, and I couldn't really touch the seat in front, so they had that much leg room, it was brilliant. And as part of uh, Norwegian, it is a low budget airline, so when you're in economy, you, because I flew economy on the way back, you get your, you, buy, you pay for your seat, and then if you want your baggage, you can pay for that on top, if you want any food and things, you don't have to pay for that um, when you book, but you can buy stuff on the airline, it's not included, so if you want it, you have to pay extra for it, but honestly, it was a great flight. I really enjoyed the flight out to Florida. Um, their movie selection is not as extensive as other airlines, so there were only a really a few movies that I wanted to watch, but they had some really current ones, so I watched Wonder, and I watched, what else did I watch? I watched Goodbye Christopher Robin, and then I also watched Interstellar, and my mum watched a couple of films as well. She read her book, she had a little nap, and yeah, it was just a really great flight. It was such a modern plane, you do everything through your touch screen in front of you, even when you're in economy, you do and you can swipe your credit card to buy stuff and they'll bring it to your seat. Uh, you call all the cabin th crew through it as well. One of the most impressive things for me was the windows. There's no blinds. This sounds really bizarre that this was the most impressive, but I was very, very impressed. There's no blind and you just use a dimmer which sends an electrical current through the window and dims the window. Oh my God, I was so amazed with it. I was like playing with it pretty much all the way to Florida, but it was so, so nice. Very modern planes, very clean. Cabin crew were wonderful. You get to get off the airplane the other side first, which was great. And there's only kind of eight rows in premium, so there's never that many people in front of you, even if you're right at the front. And it was just really great. We sailed through security the other side as well. We got there because we were off first. We grabbed our bags, which came off in really good time. And we were in and out of Orlando Airport in about 40 minutes, I'd say. And that's including car hire pickup as well. So we hired a car through Alamo, we paid for it, um, and we picked it up and dropped it off at um, Manchester, Manchester? 
<laughs> we picked it up and dropped it off at MCO so it was great and we got the car and then we headed on off to our accommodation many of you will know that obviously we were put up for the first five days of our holiday uh, with experience kiss me so the tourism board for kiss me experience kiss me kindly put us up we were put up at the magic village resort which is just off the 192 very easy to get to from the airport and also incredibly close to the park i'm talking you're on animal kingdom's back door so most of the parks you drive around to the normal entrance off the 192 that i've used loads of times but when you go to animal kingdom my sat nav was like you need to go this way and you go around the back of disney and all of a sudden Bam, you're in Animal Kingdom. It's so close and it's in such a convenient location as well. We stayed in a four bed villa. There was only the two of us, so we only used two of the bedrooms, but we had a huge lounge, we had a big kitchen, fridge, there was a barbecue outside if you want to do that. Some of them have hot tubs. There is no individual pool, so I guess you need to weigh up if you're going and you're looking for a villa. For a lot of you, do you want your own private pool? Because if you do, it's not the place for you. But if you're happy with a communal pool or like us, you don't really use the pool while you're there, um, then you might want to consider that as a great alternative because it is slightly cheaper than houses that I've seen that have pools. So yeah, it was lovely. It was clean, it was big, it was modern. We were like the only people in our block. It was so quiet and it was just a really lovely experience. I haven't stayed in a villa in Florida since about 2008, so it's been 10 years, and I was really, really impressed. And the good thing is there's a couple of different entrances in and out of the site, it's all gated, so it's really secure, and it was great. Like I said, they have a communal pool, they have a gym, they have a restaurant on site as well, and it was just, we were really, really impressed. My mom, obviously can remember a lot more about the villas that we've stayed in in the past and she was like, Do you know what, I think this is one of the nicest that we've stayed in. Really, really impressive Magic Village Resort and great location. There's an IHOP close, there's a McDonald's, there's a Walmart, there is, um, you bang on the 192, so it's really easy to get down to International Drive, really easy to get to Universal, really easy to get to Disney. So I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend checking it out if you have a Florida holiday booked and you're looking for a villa. So, like I said, um, I'll talk about Disney in a bit, but I wanted to just talk about some of the activities they did that were non-Disney related. As you guys know, Experience Kiss Me flew us out so that we could do non-Disney stuff as well. So we did so much. We ate at some beautiful restaurants. We experienced you know gator boating we had afternoon tea we experienced a spa oh it was amazing and i'm gonna write a whole blog post on what like all of the experiences were about but i have to admit the best one my favorite one was the gator boating at wild florida now if you want to do this stuff you need to get a car unless According to the manager, Sam, of Wild Florida, Virgin do an excursion package. If you're flying out with Virgin, they do an excursion package. But Wild Florida was incredible. It was a gator boat ride. You're on the gator boat for about half an hour. You go around the big swamps. You see loads of gators. And they've got a sanctuary. They rescue gators. I learned so much as well. I didn't realise that if, like, you wake up one morning in your house and there's an alligator in your pool, like, overnight come in to chill and you call like the guy to come and get rid of it, he has two options. He can kill it or he can give it to a sanctuary. He's not allowed to release it back into the wild. He's not allowed to do it. So I just, I was just so surprised. So Sam and the Wild Florida team rescue as many gators as they can and they take in as many as they can. They've got so many. They've got other animals as well that they've rescued. And it was just a really lovely day out. The food was good, the atmosphere was good. It was a bit of a drive, it's about an hour outside of Kiss Me. there's a few tolls to go down as well, I told you I'd be really honest, it's not the easiest to get to, but it was so worth it, I really, really enjoyed it. We also went horse riding at a place called Forever Florida, which again is about an hour out of the Kissimmee area, but it was really fun. I haven't been on a horse. I used to horse ride as a child and I was bucked off a horse twice. It was the first time I'd been on a horse since the second time I'd got bucked off when I was about 12. Where I was like, nope, not doing this anymore. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get bucked off again. So it was really fun and you get there, you must wear long trousers and you get there and they pick you, you, know, you get to pick a horse 
and then off you go on this kind of guided trek around um, national like na national park. So it was really fun, and I was a little bit terrified at first because, especially because they were like, you need to hold the reins a little bit different to how I've been brought up to ride, and. It, but it was so much fun. My, my mom absolutely loved it. Had these two really cute white horses. They were so well trained. They, the horses know exactly what they're doing. They've done it enough times. They're really well broken in, really well trained. And it was so much fun. It was about an hour, an hour and a half. And the, honestly, it was beautiful. I've got some video. You'll see it in the vlogs. And I really, really enjoyed it. And I actually really, really recommend it for something different to do. Same with the gator boats. I really recommend it. Some are a bit different, and if you've got a car and you fancy a little bit of a drive out, then I would 100% recommend. My other favourite activity was we went for a spa day at, or a spa afternoon at Gaylord Palms. So Gaylord Palms is a really big kind of like hotel complex, and it's quite famous, and so they've got a couple of them around the world, and I had the best massage there. We went in for a little bit of a facial and a massage. Oh, it was wonderful. It was so relaxing, so lovely, and I can't wait for you to see some of that in the vlog as well. I've never thought about going to have a spa treatment, but actually when you're hitting Disney every day, hitting the parks, and you're on your feet constantly, sometimes it's really nice to build in some relaxation time. I ate a lot of good food as well, so they took us to the Edison, which is at Disney Springs, and brilliant. This was one of the dining highlights for me, was the Edison. So. I really enjoyed the atmosphere. It's really well decorated inside. The food was good. The cocktails were great. And at 10 p.m., it turns from a restaurant into like this experiential process. And so you can be at your table, you can be eating your dinner, and there's dancers, there's singers. There was a girl with, she could spin like 50 hula hoops in one go around her. Oh, it was absolutely brilliant. So really recommend the Edison. I know that's included on the Disney dining plan as well if you are staying on Disney, so I'd recommend it. And then what I'm going to do is rather than keep talking about food and all that sort of stuff, I'm going to pop a link to the blog post when I write it. Uh, or I might have already read it, I think I'm going to try and write it tomorrow, of all the different things we did in Florida that weren't Disney related. So I'll leave a link below for you. Check it out, check it out in the vlogs. There's so much going on. What you will notice about the vlogs is that obviously for the first couple of days we are, we do do a bit of Disney, but we do a lot of bits outside of Disney as well. So um, there's so much going on. I'm really excited to show you guys a new element to a Florida and like Disney holiday as well. It's, everything that we did was so close to the parks, like really, really close. You could take an afternoon and go and do some completely non-Disney related stuff and it's not going to take too much time out of your day. And do you know what? I will do it again. So next time we go to Disney, we're going to plan some off-site activities. There, I said it. Like, yeah, I'm going to do that. We also went wine tasting, but I'll let you read about that in the blog post. So after five days, we checked out of the Magic Village Resort, which oh, we were kind of sad to say goodbye to because it was so comfy. That bed was a dream and we went and checked into the art of animation resort at Disney I treated my mom to art of animation for a few nights she's never stayed at a Disney hotel she's like never used the buses to get to the parks she was very excited so yeah we checked in we stayed in a, a little mermaid room so we were if you know anything about art of animation you'll know that it was meant to be the add-on to pop century and then they they halted development on it and then a couple of years later they picked it back up and they created art of animation so the little mermaid part of art of animation or aoa as i'm going to call it from now on uh that is the same style as pop century so it's motel style the rooms um the doors to the rooms are all on the outside the lifts going up and they've got a pool and, and it's really really nice and then the rest of art of animation is the lion king section the finding nemo section and the um, car section are all family suites so they are built a little bit differently um, so you can kind of see the contrast between the two areas but uh, I'm telling you now the Little Mermaid section was my favorite section I don't care if I was in the cheap room it was bloody amazing the, the room itself was gorgeous you can tell that it's a fairly new Disney or one of the newer Disney resorts so you sleep in a shell bed um, you've got you know the, the bathroom is like under the sea themed you've got shells and fish everyone sebastian flander eric's over your bed oh it was it was great it was really comfy it was a, a value resort it is a disney value resort so it's a little bit smaller than the rooms you get at the moderates and especially at the deluxes 
but I'm so glad we chose to stay there. It was a great base, really centralised, didn't take long to get anywhere at all, and the buses were good. Um, I don't know if it's just the time of year that we went, but we didn't really wait that long for a bus, and we never not made it onto a bus apart from one night when we came back from Magic Kingdom because there were so many people, but the next bus was literally like five minutes behind it. So yeah, it was great. The food court was good. Um, I had the build your own pasta, which I haven't had since 2013. I was very, very pleased. Mom was really impressed with the food shows. I think mom was very much expecting the Disney that we had 10, 15 years ago where it's all burger and chips, all chicken nuggets and chips. And I tried to take my mum to everywhere where she could have something completely different. And she was really impressed with the food court at uh, Art of Animation because she didn't have to have burger and chips if we ate there at night. I had the build your own pasta. She had this really nice turkey club sandwich, the one night that she had her eye on for a couple of days. And she was, I think she was really impressed with it. The only thing I would probably do differently is I would probably buy the resort mug next time. We didn't buy it this time. We didn't think we need it. But I wish we had, I wish we'd bought the uh, fill it, you know, fill your own resort mug because it was glorious the when I had it last time at, um, at um, Caribbean Beach and I kind of miss it this time. It's just really nice to kind of walk through from the park and get a drink and that sort of thing and, and you know. But to be fair, Little Mermaid is quite far away from the drink station so it would have been a bit of a trek each time. So you have to kind of weigh it up and see what's going to be best for you if you're going to buy it. So on to Disney. Here is where I want to express my huge thanks to Florida Ticks. They provided my mother and I, my mother, that's very formal, my mum and I with tickets for Disney. So we had the 14 day for the price of seven tickets, which included Memory Maker, it included uh, the golf, but we didn't do that this time. And it was, oh, I just, I just love it, just love it. We went to the water parks as well. So we did Typhoon Lagoon. I wanted to do Blizzard Beach, but mum really wants to do Typhoon Lagoon because she, she really likes Crush and Gush. So we went and we did that. And we also spent a lot of time in Disney this time at Flower and Garden. Mom's never done Flower and Garden before. I'm obsessed with it. Like, I think Disney should just do Flower and Garden all year round. It's brilliant. I'd much prefer it to food and wine. I think because it doesn't get as crowded, but you still get some really good food options as well. And it's just so pretty. It's the prettiest that Epcot has ever been. Like, the... Oh, my mom, my mom like loves a bit of gardening and she was just like, oh, it must take them so long. And then she like was pointing out when they were like deadheading the flowers. She was like, look, they're deadheading the flowers to keep it all fresh. They're replanting. So she noticed stuff like that and she really, really liked it. And we spent some time walking around the World Showcase. We spent some time visiting resort hotels. Mum is obsessed with the boardwalk, even though she's never been there. So I took her to boardwalk. Uh, we did some character dining. We dined with um, Rapunzel and Flynn and Ariel and Eric at Tratora Alfornia. And we also went to the Yachtsman as well. And then I did treat my mum for afternoon tea at the Grand Floridian because she loves tea, she runs a tea shop, um, and we were actually really impressed with that, and then we had a little wander around the Grand Floridian, we got the boat over to Magic Kingdom, it was really, really nice. I wanted my mum to be able to take everything in, and she was really enjoying kind of some of the more chilled activities. She loves the parks, don't get me wrong, but she also really loves like exploring the hotels, and you know, lying by the pool, and I was totally, totally up for that this time, because do you know what? This was a press trip for me and it was a lot of work. Like normally Disney can be a lot of work. Ask Adam, he will tell you. But this, because I had to get the shots, I had to get the video, it was a lot of work. So actually a few days around the pool was really, really well received by me this time because I just absolutely loved it. So I think really that's all I have to tell you. So I just wanted to add a few more comments in. So um, my last trip, as you know, was not great because there were just certain things that went wrong. So the weather was not that great. And don't get me wrong, I can do Disney in the rain. I've done it many times. I pack a poncho, I'm prepared. But I just really don't like doing it. And the, we had glorious weather. We had one day of rain and thunder, but it was overnight. So we didn't really um, experience it too much. And when we did, we went shopping. Top tip, go shopping. And so it was really, really nice. I also found the FastPass system had seemed to have worked itself out again. So when I was there in October, it was oversubscribed. We didn't find that at all this time, and it was really, really well managed. We didn't wait that long in any FastPass queues at all. It was great. 
Mom really got into memory maker this time as well, so we had quite a few mag magic shots as well. So I'm gonna get some printed off uh, for her and send them to her. We also ate really well this time. I really, really went out of my way to find non-burgery restaurants for mom. I do it all the time anyway. I know where there's some really good places to eat on Disney. And do you know where I was really impressed with, with this time? And I don't, you're not gonna hear me say this very often because it doesn't happen, be our guest. So we went to be our guest for breakfast and I enjoyed it more than the last time I went for breakfast. I thought it was good last time for breakfast, and then actually as the days, so I was like, actually, no, that wasn't that good. But this time, brilliant. And mum loved it. She loved the scenery. Um, we had the, you know, the plate of uh, pastries. The breakfast actually seemed a lot better quality. Uh, I had, mum had the, um, what did mum have? I had the bacon and egg kind of open sandwich. And mum had this, um, Madame Croquette thing or but anyway she really enjoyed it and it was probably one of the best breakfasts that we had to be honest and it just really set us up for the day met loads of subscribers as well there and just want to say a huge thank you to anyone that said hello and I want to say the biggest thank you to my mom because do you, it, do you know it was so nice to spend 10 days with my mom she really got into it she knew it was a work trip she knew she had to help me take photos and it was just, but it was just, my, everyone keeps saying to me, what was your favourite part, what was your favourite part? And honestly, hand on heart, my favourite part of that whole trip was spending 10 days with my mum. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. We haven't done something like that for so long. I have mentioned it in my um, trip announcement video, but you know, she used to work two jobs to get me to Disney when I was younger. And it was really nice to be able to just take her and be like, mum, don't worry, like... You need a little bit of spending money and that's it. And it was just really nice. It was just really nice to spend 10 days with me because she lives so far away now from me. And yeah, so thank you, Mom. Thank you. I had a, it was one of my best Disney trips. One of the best ones up there with my Adam trip and my solo trip as well. So yeah, so that's it. So vlogs kick off next week. I am very excited for you to see them. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you're excited for the vlogs, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week. But Disney vlogs. I've also got a couple of other Thursday videos coming over the next couple of weeks of various topics. If there is anything you want me to make a video on, leave it below and I will get round to it. See you all soon. Ah!